Welcome. We'll learn how to place columns in Revit architecture. There are two types of columns in Revit. First one, structural column, which are load bearing elements added to the building model. So when we are doing foundation work, we'll be using structural column. And the second one, architectural column, which are added around structural column for decorative applications. As we know, to place the columns, we need to have a grid lines. So here I created a, a grid lines with the help of a reference plan. So here I calculated the room sizes and created the uh, boundaries with the help of grid lines. Here I want to place the columns at each intersection point of the grid line. On architecture tab, here we can find column option and the shortcut key for column is CL. Under column, as we discussed, there are two types. First one structural and the architecture column. So I'm selecting structural column. So once we select, here we can find different options. First one, load family. So from where we can load different kind of families. So select. So once we select, a tab will be open where different kinds of libraries will be formed. So for each element, we can load different kind of family. So as we are working on structural column, double click on structural column. And here we can see the a material for the column. So which material we want to take it, which type of material column we want to place. Select that particular uh, material. So here I'm selecting concrete. Under concrete also, we can find different profiles for column. Here, first one rectangular column with cap and next one simple rectangular column and next round with cap and next round uh, simple round column and the square column. So we can select any one of the column then click on open. And next one placement which type of column we need either a vertical one or a slanted one that we can select from here next one here we can place individual columns at any point in the project in the drawing area we can place the column at any point but with the help of add grids option we can place multiple columns at a time and at the a uh, specified distance we can place at specified distance next one here we can find the option called height height or depth so either we can mention the depth of the column or we can specify the height of the column so anything we can select so here i'm selecting height under this so up to which height we need either level 1 or level 2 or unconnected so if we take unconnected we can specify any value so if we take level 2 the distance between level 2 level 1 and level 2 will be defined over here so i took level 2 now select add grids and select all the grid lines so here I selected the grid lines with the help of a mouse dragging over there. So here we can see the change. It has been seen in a blue color grid lines, all grid lines. Now click on finish. So here we can see columns has been placed at each intersection point. So we can view it in a 3D view. Under quick access toolbar here, default 3D view. So here we can see a columns has been placed. And now to change the properties of column, properties or specification like material or the base level or top level. Here we can select multiple columns at a time by selecting all of them or we can use the control button to select them so here I'm selecting these four columns so here we can find a material and specifications of the column which type of column we are using 
in the base level in the top level here we can see level 1 and level 2 and base offset so here we took only 0 if we want any base offset value we can specify base and top offset value and next one material and finishes here concrete has been selected in load family concrete here we can see concrete material here we can change the material also if we want click on that so here small icon will be displayed select here we can find different kind of materials so here i am selecting brick then click ok so here we can find the a difference so brick material has been added to view it effectively from view control bar we can set the detail level to fine and the visual style to realistic so here we can find the brick material so in the same way we can change the breadth and height of the column also either individually or multiple columns so here I'm selecting a single column. Next from properties palette, click on edit type. Here we can find the dimensions, breadth and height of the column. So from here also we can change the breadth and height of the column. And here we can find the load option again. So before placing also we can select the material and the profile of the column or after placing also by selecting the column either single column or multiple columns so from edit type here we can find the load option select so again will be redirected to the same tab so if I select here a round column then click on open then click on ok so here we can see from rectangular column a round column has been replaced so before or after placing also we can change the profile of the column and material of the column so this is how we place the columns and how to edit the columns material and the profile thank you